Um, now, I will say, we just started doing some more visa cases this uh, last week, the Summer Work and Travel Program, which is yep. the first large group of people we've had in to do visas in over a year. And our officers were so eager to interview people that uh, I was supposed to go down and do kind of a meet and greet with some of these applicants. Yeah. But uh, they almost uh, tore through all of them as quickly as they could. They were like starving people who haven't had anything to eat for months. These officers like, oh, we can't wait to interview somebody because that's, you know, that's what they do in the, right. in the consul section. So that started up again. And so that means I think we can probably expect to see greater visa traffic going forward, uh, although I haven't seen anything official yet. So that's a good sign. Um, if they're going to allow that, then the question is, OK, what about travel right now to go to the United States? from here or from anywhere really in Europe, you need a national interest exemption, yeah. um, which requires a specific piece of paper and whatnot. And frankly, it's, it's a bit of a drag and it's not gonna work for, for large scale travel, right? So we're all hoping to see those rules change at some point as the, the COVID situation here in Romania has changed dramatically in the last few weeks. It's, it's almost dying out. I mean, I don't know, I don't wanna say that too yeah. loudly, but the numbers yeah. are dropping so fast. Yeah. Uh, and, and restrictions are starting to drop. So the Romanian government is dropping its restrictions and the U.S. government is dropping restrictions that apply to us as federal employees yeah. on embassy grounds. And so between the two, you can pretty much go anywhere now without a mask with some exceptions. But